You just disappear. It's a terrible disease. I always call Alzheimer the, the dream robbing because I thought all my dreams were robbed because I had so many plans for my mom. But, you know, couldn't. I don't want to end up like my mother did. You know, she couldn't talk, she couldn't feed herself, she didn't care for herself at all. Alzheimer's disease is a pandemic, we might say. It's worldwide. Thanks for coming in, Dr. Burgoyne, mm, yes. So what, what did you notice memory-wise? Can, can I tell, tell how, um, I've forgotten, see, that's what happens to me. I forgot what I was gonna do. Um, why don't you have a seat up here? Okay. okay. Yeah, here's a little stool if you want that. We work in one of the most important areas in medical research, trying to find effective treatments for Alzheimer's disease. It might be considered the greatest unmet medical need. Now put your feet together. We bring together some of the best minds in the field who all have their unique expertise and approach and we bring them together in a collaborative environment to accelerate the pace of discovery. We have ATRI, we have the Stevens Institute, the Zilke Institute, and the Alzheimer's Disease Research Center. It's incredible to have some of the world's biggest experts all here at USC working together. So if you were thinking of what would be the perfect team to try and understand the disease and really go for it, really attack it, you would want people that are experts in molecular biology. You would want people that are experts in systems biology, imaging. You would want people that are experts in genetics. You would want people that are experts in clinical trials. And if you put all those groups together, you end up with a team of people, each of whom can contribute significantly to understanding the disease process and beginning to develop additional treatments. So good morning, Ms. Palmer. Um, my name is Liz, and I'll be working with you um, this morning. This is an A4 study at USC for a drug to help impede the progression of Alzheimer's disease. There's nothing unpleasant about any of this. The whole idea is to reduce the production of the amyloid plaques in the brain. If we can stop the generation of amyloid, and or remove existing plaques from brain, and we do it before there's too much irreversible damage, it should slow the course of the disease. My name is Allison Bosworth. I'm a postdoctoral researcher. I work with human-induced pluripotent stem cells. Um, it's a way we can model the human blood-brain barrier in the lab. Well, I like to define the vascular system and especially the barrier. Uh, that is like uh, we call blood-brain barrier. This is the vessel wall barrier, like uh, what the ozone layer is for the planet Earth. If part of this 400 miles gets in a bad shape in an important region, region of the brain, you can imagine consequences. And that's what I believe is happening in diseases like Alzheimer's. Okay, so what we're looking at here is this is a cut of a person's brain and the size of the ventricles here are abnormally large. This is a data center that allows people from around the world, literally around the world, to look at data, process that data, upload data, download data. The advantage of this is it really provides people with a capacity to see things that they couldn't see before by aggregating vast amounts of data from multiple studies. So that as a group, we are all contributing hundreds of people every, every year, and we can build up a database that no single researcher could do that. Basic science, we're trying to understand the basic mechanisms, and that's essential. Um, but we have to carry it all the way to the person who has the, the disease. My mom, she's my best friend, but I know who she is, and I will often know who she is so even though she's not the same 
I just don't want to be a burden on anybody with this disease. Alzheimer's disease is the most feared disease of getting older, more so than cancer, because people see what it looks like. I don't think that treatment for Alzheimer's disease is a silver bullet. It's not just one thing. It is multiple approach. To make breakthroughs in Alzheimer's disease, you need innovative thinkers attacking the problem from multiple angles. And we have that here at Keck School of Medicine of USC. If you want to make a difference in Alzheimer's, this is the place to be. The pace of discovery is quickening. We have so many more tools, more data, so much big data. It's a, a hard job. This is a difficult task. But working together and collaborating with other scientists around the world, we've made huge progress. And that's very exciting. We think we're close to major advances. This is a moonshot. You need to take some risks. You need to make investments because we're on the cusp of so many discoveries.